News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. It's only been, uh, you know, less than two years, but you've really managed to make an impact in the community already. Talk a little bit about Obsession and what makes it special. For us, what really, really works is when you have your business in the town where you lived, grew up, raised your family, right away you've got sort of a, a network in place. And part of running a business, I think, to sort of elevate your profile and to let people know what's important to you as a, a family within the community is to get involved in charities and fundraisers and at any level, you know, whether it's uh, at the, the local schools, uh, national organizations, uh, local organizations. From the very, very beginning, we felt it was really, really important to uh, to lend a hand. And Obsession is uh, really a family affair. Talk about, uh, you know, your, your, your daughter's involved and now your husband is That's doing right. a complete career change. He, after 24 years, he was a technician for many years, repairing photocopiers and computers. And sadly, he was laid off after almost a quarter century with the company took some time off and then we decided to venture into this little project because our daughter Caroline uh, had completed her training in uh, professional pastry then she went back to the same school and did professional cooking so it that's another thing it allows us to you know we're sort of double threat did you learn the importance of giving back to the community from your parents yeah for sure for sure I mean I always like to do a little bit and like when it was when I was in high school I was in the student council I was in the yearbook I like to take part in all that kind of stuff but when it came time to doing this and we started, I started to see more and more how it was important and uh, it's great. We run a drop-in center and a crisis pregnancy center here in Chattagy. They've been there for us. Uh, actually, Anne's daughter uh, comes to the drop-in center uh, with lots of her friends and that's how we first made contact and then uh, they started bringing in little trays of goodies and all the kids are good with that you know and uh, and then we had some fundraisers and they've helped out with that and uh, it's just I wish that uh, like somebody else said that other organizations other businesses in this community would would jump in the way these guys have done they are helping us uh, in doing a team first of all in the relay for life that will be held uh, May 31st and now is this kind of uh donation, this kind of effort, is it unusual to see in a business? Like, are they going way above and beyond what you would typically see? So easy like this to get support, so easy like, like they are, uh, it's, it, it's, it, it's not used to see that. Like, we are receiving support from different organizations, different companies here in Chattagay, but like, they just accept so easily. Our junior club organized the luncheon for the firefighters, the police, the medical, uh, the ambulance. We were putting on this lunch and they graciously decided to help out free of charge. <laughs> they baked a beautiful big cake and uh, it, was, it was the highlight of the, the day. Besides, they, uh, they also prepared some of the, uh, the buffet luncheon that we served to everybody. I was really touched by their outpouring when I contacted her about my work that I was doing here in Shadigi with the Shadigi Christmas Angels. It's great for businesses to step forward and I did receive a lot of support from different businesses in Shadigi, but nothing like here. They went out of their way, um, offered the place for us to hold meetings, did the collection jars. She just went so much more than what was expected. Now why is giving back to the community so important for you? The people here support us and they like coming here. They, they tell us when they walk in the door that it, it's like coming home. So for all you do, uh, both in the bakery and out in the community, we've uh, decided to present you with these flowers, a small token of our appreciation from Pinkerton's as well as a little gift from CJAD. Thank you for everything you do.